Welcome back to the Amy Kardashian and the Expert Show, where we help you transform your business and personal life. As I promise, I always bring some of the best authors, trainers, speakers in the world to help you do that. And we do it with fun and excitement and not stressful environment. You're, you're not just gonna learn some things, you will have aha moments that will help you transform your business and personal life. My name is Amy Kardashian. Not, not Kardashian. <laughs> and I'm your co-host, Stephanie Thompson. I'm a classically trained singer-songwriter. In this segment and the next two segments, we're learning about having leadership without fear with Charmaine Lee. Yes. Well, and, and also, we received some uh, questions for Charmaine. Yes, we so have a question. What the question is. You want to start with the question. So, so what keeps me from moving forward and taking leadership is I find myself losing time on games on my phone. Is this a fear or avoidance of something? That's a very good question. Yeah. It is. Okay. Most, most of the time is that when there is fear, we will go to avoidance because it's the easiest way for people to really cope with, with what's going on. Mm. And a lot of times when someone goes to play a game, it's to deny what's going on. Yeah. So if there's something that's traumatic or something that's not working in their lives, it's easier to just say that Check I don't out. have any time. So I don't have any time, so I'm gonna go ahead and play a game. Mm -hmm. And then there is nothing that's that will take them away from it, but to can keep playing the game because it empowers them to continue to avoid anything to do with fear. So you're saying anytime you're playing game, mm -hmm. you need to check out why you are playing the game. Yes. Are you playing game because you want to uh, avoid what you were faced with or you're playing games just because you want to take off a little bit for yourself and enjoy your t your time right sometimes we like to just watch tv a little bit or whatever we need to just have fun right right That's so, fun. so yes. they need to recognize when when they're why they're doing it obsession okay. the obsession to That's just what it is you go right there to it it yes. become like addiction then is it it is part of addiction part of addiction yes part of running away from your fear and you're going you're grabbing something yes that's be, a good one okay. because it's a way it's easier it's easier that way yes we have a follow-up question do you want to continue on this yes, let's do that. nice let's do okay that. We so, like questions <laughs> so uh, she said it's great to see your show and see Amy too I've had a lot of fear lately about my next step in my path I have written a new screenplay and now trying to get it out there any advice nice well, first of all is to decide, make a decision that you truly want this. If there is no desire to really go after what it is that you want, it'll never happen. It will always be a goal. It's no longer a dream. There is a difference between dream and goal. So if you decide that that truly is what you want, go ahead and go after it. Plan it out. Take the steps, one, two, three, to take action. Because when you're a screen write, writer or actor or actress, it's about practicing. And when you get into that momentum, it gets easier each time. Mm -hmm. But what most people do, well, they'll sit back and they'll look at a script or look at you know something that they're going to write, like writing the book. And we look at it and we look at the piece of paper and say, write. Please, somebody do something with it. So if you take action, then put it into a one, two, three form on moving forward, you'll be able to just complete it because now you're into your desire and your dream. But without the dream and the desire, then it just becomes So basically when you're writing it down, yes. you have, you could lead yourself. Yes. Because now you're writing step one, step two, step three, I want to do. Yes. And therefore, I have to follow those. And what happened is basically you're leading yourself to it. Yes. So yes. there is something you're looking at it to say, I, it, it just, I'm writing to lead myself. Yes. But most of the time what people think is that to, to be a leader that they would have to expose themselves. Mm -hmm. And so what are you exposing? What is that big fear? Mm -hmm. So if you're exposing yourself, that's what you said you wanted. 
But yes. if there's no desire, then it will never happen. It will it never happen. Never happen. So how do you know if it's um, desire? So you know because you really didn't take the action towards it. Right. You're you're afraid to take action towards it. Yes, you're afraid to take action towards it because then it becomes a reality, and when it becomes a reality, then you know, you're afraid of the reality yes, of it. Yes, and you then don't you're want afraid to do of anything. the reality of it. Yes. Do we have some more questions here? <laughs> we do. We have I a lot of questions that. coming in. Okay. Uh, I have a lot of opportunities coming at me, and I just can't figure out what direction I need to go in. How do I find clarity? Oh, that's a, a good question because yeah. a lot of times we have ideas, we have job opportunities, especially today. And when that opportunity comes towards you, you truly want to look at each one. Find out what it is that resonates with your heart. Because when you know what resonates with your heart, you'll know what you truly want. A lot of times when we have these things that, oh, we have 10 things that we want to do, mm -hmm. we want to do them all. Yeah. yeah. Because, but by doing them all, we set ourselves, ourselves for failure. And then we'll go into fear. Yes. And yes. because you set that. yourself up for failure, what happens is then ki kicking in is fear. It's just yeah. a natural reaction mm -hmm. natural reaction yes it is correct? a reaction okay. yes and so a lot of times when you are looking for clarity it's important what is the most important this is not important this is something that i want to do now and as you start categorizing you'll know exactly what you need to do to act upon it and what you your opportunity is best for you at this time and therefore you're not overwhelmed yes and fear will be less you will have less fear yes and by doing that again, you're leading yourself. Yes. You're leading yourself to say, okay, this is not important. This is important. This is what I need to do. This is what I don't need to do. That's beautiful. Yes. And then th this is how you take your steps to go beyond fear. Yeah. Because it, it is about you and how you lead yourself. So to go beyond that fear is to know you are in control 100%. And then that way, as you clarify it for yourself and know what is your passion, what your desire, you will always be true to yourself. So by writing down all the steps that you need to do, again, like the first, almost the first answer, by writing down everything you need to do, you are leading yourself. Yes. And then therefore you're not scared because there is something to follow. Yes. Right? Yes. There is some direction. Yes. I think most of people get afraid because they get afraid to get lost or when they get lost, this is where the fear comes in oh, and yeah. they're like, I don't know where I'm going. I'm stuck. But if you're clear, like she was saying, Charmaine saying, if you write it down, then you're clear. Therefore, there's no fear. A absolutely. It's the fear Beautiful. of the unknown. So if you're clearer about what you're writing down, take action on it and then go for go it. from there now when we come back we're gonna be talking about more about that please continue sending your questions to us so yes and this is the kind of wonderful information and guidance you get when you go to the a to z shift academy which sponsors our show yes. we have charmaine lee as one of our faculty members and you can go to the website and get your 14 days free access with no commitment required from you and check it out and see what might be in store for you and apparently you helped the lady because she said, thank you, ladies. Awesome. So oh, great. <laughs> so great. We, we got some good positive confirmation there. When we come back, we're going to be learning more and more. Please continue asking your questions. We're here to help you uh, with everything you need to be, any direction, anything you need to learn about leading with no fear. And um, any question you have, please continue sending your questions. We'll be right back.